Welcome back to me and you outside. I'm right here by my house, which is right there behind me. I am walking down here at the river. I just noticed something in the water there a while ago. I was down here earlier this morning and I saw two large suckers milling around down here. And then I come out here just a few minutes ago and they are shoaling down here, a whole bunch of them, big yellow suckers and red horse. I believe there's a red horse or two in there. But I'm gonna go down here, I got me a rod and reel. I got me a bucket of worms. Now, I have never caught shoaling suckers before. When they're spawning like that, I've actually never fished for them with worms. So I don't know what this is going to be like. This may be a flop. If it is, you'll never know it. But if I catch something, well, I caught something because you're watching this. I wouldn't put it on there otherwise. You know that. But uh, let's just see how it goes. I'm going to catch this sucker. He's going to be a big one, probably three pounds or bigger if I catch uh, that I catch. And I'm going to take him. I'm going to clean him. And I'm going to show you how to cook them rascals. I've done this on a video a video a year or so ago, but I'm going to do it again because it's just kind of fun, and I'm going to do it anyway. So why not video it? And let you guys watch it and just see how how good a sucker is and how you clean them to where you don't have bones real bad. Okay? You always got to be careful eating sucker, no matter if you score them and clean them right and all that stuff. But uh, it's going to be good. I see a lot of activity right down yonder, down there with about the. About at the end of my rod tip, that big old gravel bar, I'm fixing to walk down here. And uh, I'm going to go down some steps right here. I see the water stirring down there. I see a lot of uh, small wakes. And I'm trying to get down here and throw down there in amongst them without scaring them now. I don't know. Like I say, I've never done this, so let's just see what I catch because I am about to catch something. Now, when you're walking on a gravel bar and you're trying to sneak up on fish, you better go real slow because they are kind of sensitive. Oh, yeah, there's good activity down there. I'm going to wade out in the water just a little ways because all that activity right here is on the end of my rod tip right there. I see the water stirring down there. And while we go, there was just two. So there must be half a dozen or more now. So next thing you're going to see is me catching on these rascals. get baited up here big old night crawler now this is a bought and night crawler and tell you what I like to do with bought and night crawlers I like to take them and put them in river dirt for a while I think that helps them I think that helps uh, the fish to like them better I like to put them in regular dirt I don't know why I just think it helps them but I got me a good conglomeration on here see that that's a pretty good uh, worm setup right there so if they're interested in this, I will catch them. I think I got one. I think I got one playing with it. I think. I think I had one grab it. I don't know. Let's see. Nope. I'm leaving the leap of sitting right there. I'm going at it. He's a going at it. Oh yeah. For sure it's a sucker too. There's no way of knowing for sure, but something's banging at that worm. There he is! I got a sucker! Oh, a good one too! <clears throat> Can't believe it. First sucker I've ever caught shoaling. Boy, he is a fighting motor scooter now. Look at him out there. Oh, he's trying to get hung up and stuff. Don't oh, you dare you. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a big sucker. I mean, big. Probably one of the biggest one I've ever caught in this river. That's on a worm. That was awesome. Catching him on a worm like that, or he's shoaling. Like I said, it's a first for me. Look at that. Oh, he's a dandy. Oh. Oh, man. He's a red horse. See how red his fins are? It took about 15 20 minutes sitting there waiting but I caught him legitly now it's a male there we go. using number three yacht true turn hook boy I love them I do like these little hooks check that out now that's a good fish right there that's a good sucker. There's milk coming out. You see that? I 
I would say three and a half pounds probably. Boy, he's a fighter now. He fought and fought and fought. I get him up to the house, which is just right there. See that? How blessed I am to live here on this river like this. It's kind of fishing here. I still see sucker activity down there. Didn't phase them at all. They're down there. Water swirling around. You see V's everywhere. But I got this and I'm going to warm. Let's take him up there. Clean him. Let's cook him. It'll be fun. All right, I got this big old got this big old sucker here ready to go. As you can see, it's a pretty good sucker. There's nine inches, eighteen. He's twenty-two inches long, which is pretty good size sucker for the river. Pretty good size sucker, and I'm gonna I'm gonna scale him here, and um, when I get done scaling him, I'm going to fillet him and score him. And then put him in Zataran's uh, egg and uh, probably egg and milk on this one right here. I want a lot of batter uh, stuff to get down in the the uh, slices of the score. I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and scale this big rascal. He's a big. He's got big old scales on him. Same things right there. They're pretty big. They'll be laying around my overhang of my shed here for a long time. Takes them forever to dissolve out. You just gotta get rid of them best you can all right let's do this real fast All right, now I'm going to score this sucker, this fillets here, and you've seen me do this too, but I'm going to go in, I'm telling you, you hear that? You're bony rascals, and I'm just, I'm taking that knife all the way to the skin, and I'm not slicing because I'll slice that skin um, in two. And that's what holds it together good in the frying pan. It's the skin. So I'm just doing here, oh, three sixteenths, quarter inch at the max, cutting this. I already have the rib out of this, so there's no rib in there. See, I got skin on there, it looks good. I'll cut this in smaller pieces to fry up. That like so. That like so. That made three really good pieces in each fillet. So I'm just going to do the same thing on this one here. Ear cut, scored. Drop this down in three, 300, and about 360 degree grease. Also, in scoring that, you can you could hear as I was doing that, I was cutting bones. So I'm cutting all these bones that are crisscrossing throughout this fillet and making them a whole lot shorter. And so it just makes it better all around. Uh, not it doesn't just fry up the bones, but you cut them in such smaller pieces that you wind up. Um, not having to worry about a big bone getting stuck in your throat. See what I mean? I'm going to rinse these off real good. And we're going to be on the frying pan here. The frying pot, I should say. In just a little bit. I'm going to clean my table off. Do all that. There we go. True turn hooks right here. There's number five out right there. I'll put those on limb lines. I like them for limb lines. Uh, a little small for chart line, but they're good for catfish. I love them true turn hooks. I just do. Maybe I should or shouldn't. I don't know. Here I am with the frying pot. 
I got Brindley, my granddaughter, running the camera for me. I'm gonna have her and Jackson both gonna help me taste this fried, deep fried sucker. Now I'll just tell you, I wouldn't feed it my grandkids if it wasn't good, and I wouldn't feed it my grandkids, or my grandkids if it was dangerous with a lot of bones in it, okay? So I'm gonna take care of all that. Now what I got here is I got these fillets. You just saw me cut up right here in a bag. I put one egg in there and probably about four cups of milk, something like that. So they're good and moist. It's my Zatarans right here. Zatarans batter, best ever. You don't have to add anything to it. You don't have to add salt. You don't have to add nothing. It's got everything right there. I just love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these fillets out of here. My, my temperature is, Oh, 350, so I gotta get going here. It's exactly where I want it. I don't want it much more than that because I'm only putting six pretty good sized pieces of fish in this uh, uh, hot grease. And so what'll happen if I get it too hot, it'll, it'll fry this up big time on the outside and it won't, it won't go down in there and cook the bones good enough. So I got it good and uh, swished around in there. I'm gonna turn this down just a little getting ahead of me all right here we go big old pieces of fillets here now, these are pretty big fillets but if it all works right that grease will go down in there in these slices I made where I scored it and cut the short or cook the short bones up that's the that's the goal at least okay we'll see how that works and I hope it works right and good and it should. Let's go down in here with some hot grease. Watch this, Brandon. Go over here and watch this. This grease is pretty stinking hot. But it's going to cool down pretty quick with them big pieces in there. Let's see. I got a couple more in here. I think that's all. Yep, that was it right there. All right, there we go. You hear that sound, folks? That is a beautiful sound right there. That is a beautiful sound of fish frying in a pot. Deep frying fish. And what's weird, you know, when I was a kid, I ain't trying to talk the leg off, but the fish is cooking, so I ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, we cooked fish a lot, but we didn't know what it was to deep fry fish. We would fry fish in a skillet with about that much grease in there and just fry it like that, never called it deep fry. We didn't know what that was. We didn't have a pot like this, never had a, a ladle like this one right here uh, to, to dip fish out with. We just didn't think about it. Didn't even know there was such a thing. So here we have this pot right here. We got this dipper right here and dip this fish out real nice. It's been cooking there, as you know, there for about a minute and a half. A minute. I'm just gonna swoosh it around because some of the pieces get stuck together. I just don't want that, you know what I mean? Well, that hot grease is getting down there. I know what it's doing, it's cooking in bones. Good, good, good. All right, I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes here. We'll be right back when I pull them out. We are ready to pull out the fish. Now, come here, Brendan, look at this. I'm gonna show, show the people something they probably, most of them know, you know. When you see your fish floating like this, you know it's done. Now, this has been floating for a little bit, but I left it in there a little extra because, again, I'm dealing with a fish here that has got a, a bone structure that is beyond anything you will ever see. And I've gotta make sure and cook them bones up where we can eat them without having to worry about a bone getting stuck in our throat. And that's what I believe I did. You can look here. Remember I scored that fish? I scored that fish and cut them scores in there. See all that? And they're all sliced. Now that one there didn't open up real good, but he'll be all right. We'll eat him. This one opened up real good. That's what you want to see right there. That opening right there. That means that grease got in there real good. Now this one stayed closed. It was going to be a little harder, but we'll be careful with him. He's all done. This one's done, so it's good. All right, well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this over to the taste table, and my grandson and granddaughter are gonna help me try deep fried sucker, folks. You don't wanna miss this. Look at there. What do you think of that? My two best professional taste testers right here. <laughs> they are the best. My wife is going to join us, but she got busy working up in her she shed, and so she's too busy up there to come down. I'm going to tell you something. You're too busy to eat fish. You're too busy. That's the way I feel about it. Whatever. Anyhow, I'm glad you're here with us. Uh, we got this fish all cooked. I'm telling you, it looks and smells good. I'm just telling you folks out there are skeptical about sucker. Stay tuned to this video. Let's just see what happens, okay? It's going to be good. Brindley, are you ready to eat fish? Hey, I'm ready to eat fish. <laughs> 
you. What in the world? What was that, Jackson? I don't know. It's just a Are weird little Are you ever embarrassed by your little sister? Um, yeah, I, I get embarrassed by her a lot. What's your mom um, going to think of that? She hears you do that. She's going to grab up laughing. <laughs> or she's going to be really embarrassed, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my funny voices. <laughs> do it again. What do I say? Say, hey, how are you today? <laughs> hey, how are you today? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> okay, let's eat fish. We're gonna eat fish. <laughs> All right, we're going to eat some fish. Okay, let's eat some fish. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Brantley, you can tackle this piece right here. Jackson, tackle that one. I'm going to tackle the one that had the fillets closed in just a little bit. Oh, Brantley's just going for it. You took a whole big slice right there. Mm, I got That's why I got Jackson, you take a bite? Mm -hmm. Fried sucker, man, what do you think? Deep fried sucker. Deep fried sucker, I would say it tastes really good. Scale of one I to ten, can. is it a ten? Yep. Yep. Now I'm going to eat this piece right here. This piece right here, the fillet stayed closed in. It's going to have a few little bones in it. I know it is. There's a little one right there. But they're really little and they're pliable bones. So they're not like they're going to get stuck in your throat or anything. But regardless. Mm. Now. So I take it little pieces like this. Anytime you're eating a fish like this, you're taking small pieces. Even you, Brinley, take small pieces. And if you get a bone, you just take it out. But you're not going to find a bone in a piece like that. See that? There might have been one in there, but it got cooked up. So it don't cause you a problem. Mm. That's really good fish, isn't it? Really good. It's kind of like him. Fish. I believe it's a 10. This is just a snack for us. Okay, it's kind of between lunch and uh, supper. We had a big lunch. This is kind of like a snack. Instead of eating a donut or something like that, which I wish I wouldn't care if we were doing that too, but we're eating just a few pieces of fish right here, and it's sucker. In fact, I caught it, folks, right down there. That gravel bar right there. See that gravel bar? I was standing right there, and I caught him right down there. I look down there every now and then I still see some moving around down there. So there's still some more suckers down in there. I'd go down there and catch them if I wanted to. Might let Brendan or Jackson do that in a couple, three days. We'll see. <laughs> All right. This is really good. I appreciate you watching this video. And uh, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I got a lot of watchers out of Chicago. If you're watching this video and you're in Chicago, make a comment. I, I, I see my, my analytics that I get a lot of views out of Chicago. It's my top viewing city. Can you believe Chicago? That's just crazy. So if you are from Chicago and you're watching this, would you please just say, just in the comments, say Chicago. I don't know who you people are in Chicago watching my videos, but that just sounds crazy. Chicago, Houston, Dallas. That's my biggest cities right there. In Toronto, Canada, where people watch this video or my videos. But I know some others watch y'all over. But if you're from Chicago or wherever you're from, I like it when people tell where you're from. It's just really interesting to me. It's really cool. Well, I just tell you this, wherever you're at in this world, have a good morning, good day, good night. And my friends, there is another video that is coming. Right around the corner. <laughs>